All righty, welcome back, everybody. I'm Ritz Blues, and with me is Brosentia. And oh, hey, there hey. he is. He made Whoa. it. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Just Sorry. in time. You, you were like five times as loud as Ritz for me, and you scared me. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll try and be quiet. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I have a volume slider for you. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm Jeff. here. I'm psyched for this run. Let's hear all about it. Um, Rich Blues, what are we doing today? So this is Sabor, um, and I had the misfortune or pleasure of having Jeff sick this game on me during Cusa Grande this year. Um, it's uh, a Russian-made DOS game uh, made by two uh, two programmers, and it's about an ancient Slav system of hand-to-hand -hand fighting now almost forgotten along with many other pages of our history. This game is devoted to the revival of former Russian glory. I love when people conserve a little bit of their history in video game form. I think it's awesome. Yep. One of the, the best things I found out in the Kusa match, though, is this glitch if you go to training um, and then uh, you cancel back out of it going, oh, wait, no, I have a race. I can't practice. There's no time for training. I have to play this oh, game yeah. blind. So if we hit restart and be like, OK, cool, we're back at the main menu, start the run. And then all of a sudden, uh, we'll go ahead and get started here in three, two, one, go. I think, maybe, there we go. Now we're gonna show all the cutscenes too for your uh, viewing enjoyment. Yes, they're uh, good. Yes, they are. So good. Gotta ride behind the, the horse. Yep, yeah. so our, our five uh, heroes are setting out to go uh, rid the world of evil using the power of Sabor. Yeah, but then they... Sabor just means punching people in the nose. <laughs> but then they found out that they don't know how to do Sabor, so they have to train first. Uh, yeah. But that training glitch makes it so this, this guy right here does not move. <laughs> <laughs> and look at your arm, it's beefing up. Urgh. Yeah, muscles. Oh, you are so strong now. Yeah, so this is where and we're happy, at. strong and happy. That's right. Every punch makes you so happy. Uh, yeah, this is where we get our anchor arms. So, so this um, this initial part is extremely important for the rest of the game. Crucial. Um, Absolutely. It so de it determines your entire stats for the game. Yep. I do love that they have a different hairstyle for each dude on the top right as well. That way you, you know, can tell them apart. <laughs> Not going to lie. For like a second. Having to yeah. play this over and over and over again, you know, enjoying the, the smile on their face is probably the only good part of the run. Uh, yeah, you're <laughs> at least going everybody. In blind. No, I, I think people watching it will enjoy it. They won't have any idea what's going on. No, I meant in the Kuso match. That was the only oh. the only enjoyable part of the yeah. match. Was just, oh, that, yeah. These faces are so that. good. <laughs> Did Good Faces Bot uh, ever pick this up? Yes. Okay. For better or for worse, yes. All right, so they're all maxed out. Now we know we have mastered... <laughs> we have mastered the, the art of Sabor. Yeah, punching your friend like 10 times. That is what causes you to be a master. So yeah, it's a really sweet horse cart animation on uh, MS Paint backgrounds here. Fantastic. Ah, uh, pretty. You know what? I think we'll just walk. All right, so now for the actual first real gameplay part of the game. I'm going to save on each stage because this game is really hard. I want you guys in the chat, uh, type one, two, three, four, or five. Which row from top to bottom do you think is going to win the fight first? Uh, so Team Blue is my team. Team Red is the I'm bad going, guys. I'm going four. Going four. I'm going one. I think it's going to be five. So um, the game is done. It, it defaults to automatic controls. I'm not touching the keyboard right now, uh, just because when you have five fighters, they're better at fighting than I am. But yeah, that'll change. Yeah, uh, I can switch between them, but I'm not going to interfere with their fights yet. Kind of an interesting and ambitious idea to have five 
fights happening on the two screen. Two is the two. winner. Oh, two is the winner. Did anybody say two? One person said two. Diggle-Rath, you are the victor. And then five, four. Uh, you can also make them change rows with the uh, plus and minus keys, which of course allows you to gang up on them. Um, and then three is the, the slow guy. All right, cool. They give a kind gesture, and then uh, we prance along into the woods. Not sure that was a kind gesture, per se. Oh, no, yeah, they just held their hand up and waved. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, they just flew away. I mean, they didn't get... Nobody was harmed. Oh, yeah. I hate it when I turn into a bat after people punch me in the face. All right, okay. So save here. So this is definitely one of the harder uh, parts of the run, figuring the, out the timing for these and not getting zapped as you do it. I'm making this look easy so far. Oh, I spoke too soon. Okay, one person dead, that's fine. Yep, we only need to get two of them all the way through. Too slow. This looks like it should be easy, right? Yeah, it does It look is like not easy. It is. <laughs> The timing is so weird on it's, this. It's, it's very, very, very tight. The frame rate is slow, and so thankfully, you know, even though it's, I guess, quote, frame perfect, um, it's uh, still really tight. So I can control the corpses, not that that helps. I can't control oh, corpses, dead. man. They're just... Oh, you made it. Okay. Wow, that was kind of a surprise. Yep, I think we're going to step forward and see what happens. Are we good? Good, good. Good, good, good. I only need two to survive. I think we're okay. We are okay. Oh man, you got two. All right, cool. Time for him to die. Touch the skull, get the death. All right, so now we have to do the rest of these brawl stages with only two fighters. And now I have to take control and uh, you're gonna see where the strategy comes in in this run, uh, which is uh, to sort of, um, sandwich them as best you can. If more than one is facing me, I have to step outside of the, the lane to get them in place. I think we have it. I love the strat here. It's so good. Neck punching. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> Count with me. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine. Ten. Yeah. Eleven. I'm done. Twelve counting. for good measure, and a knee to the back should kill them all. There we go. Kind gesture. Yeah. And then we move on. Nice. Now you, I seem to recall you discovered some strat um, while you were playing the Kuso match. Yep, that was the uh, the opening uh, training glitch where that first guy uh, just stands there and lets you punch him. Uh, yeah, it's a great glitch. Okay, we've got demon house time. Yep. Did you save? To, I need to save. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, oh, all right, so welcome. we're going to go here. We want to take the middle path. So, and we want to... I like the middle path because you can escape the middle path if your timing is good. You just don't want Baba Yaga's chicken-legged house to run you over. So hopefully it doesn't go middle. It went middle. We're dead. All right, this is yeah. why we load. <laughs> This is why we save. Uh-huh. So rows two and four are the only safe rows. Except for the middle of them where the skulls are shooting. Don't go middle. All right, we're good. There's oh, one. Oh, good. All right, now we have to do the same thing with number two. Don't go middle, don't go middle, don't go middle. Gosh darn it. And... Oh, no, I almost made it. Oh, so close. So close. I have to reload, though. I cannot beat the game with only one player. I mean, this may be obvious, but you can't kill a hut walking on chicken legs. Oh, That's no, just not it's, it's invincible. It'll absolutely kill you dead. You say that, but I've killed a good house or two in my day, you know? Not a Baba Yaga house. All right, we're just going to wait and play it a little safe here. Don't go mid. All right, now as long as the house doesn't go mid, we can just hold right and the level will be over. All right, we're good. Yeah. Next stage. Save again, because it's brawling time again. Oh, yeah. 
So once again, I'm the one in the dark blue. I'm going to try and get behind all of them. Pop, you know, go down a row, turn around. I don't know why my partner turned around, but that's okay. Just <laughs> pop up here. And he went backwards. Come on, man. Pick a really? side. Oh my gosh, your dude. He's just having a hard time. All right, cool. I think we can get most of them this way. All right, I think we're okay. Got him. Come yeah. on, back into it. Get that last guy. I can't count until that last guy's here. Oh no. Eh, you probably have it. Yeah, I got most of these guys. It's this last guy. It's this last nerd here. All right, we're good. Your friend just punched you. Yeah, it happens. Friendly fire is oh, very gosh. much a thing in this game. <laughs> Well, that is a little sad. You know, I thought you were going to help each other this whole time, but then whop. All right. So now we face Baba Yaga. Uh, oh. <laughs> so we have to... Ah, uh, the farty music. The farty music. All right, so we have like... to carefully keep Baba Yaga unbalanced here. We take one step forward. Nope. All right, so we reload. It's real tricky because you gotta you gotta stun lock Baba Yaga in order to get past. But if you're in position to stun lock, oh, too slow. Why was it so slow? All right, we're gonna try that and see if I can reach it with the kick after just one punch. Got it. All right. Yeah. It's a lovely, friendly gesture, and then we move on. I'm sure it's a friendly gesture. Harry. I bet you guys can't guess what's next. That's oh, right. Oh, no. More fighting. Yeah. Well, they have to show off the, the art of Sabor. Yes. Yep, different uh, different background. You know, any good fighting game has multiple stages. So. It's true. It's true. All right. So hopefully, all right. Good, good, good. Now I'll stay that way. No. No. It's okay. Why? It's okay. Come on, buddy. All right. Down and up. So you're using uh, these fantastic strats to sort of cheese these levels. When you were playing this in the Kuso tournament, uh, how hard were these fights if you weren't cheesing them? They were um, almost impossible. impossible. <laughs> I think I Basically, made it past the yeah. first fight once, and that's just because the training is so bad. Okay, I think so I got bad. Them. No, they flipped backwards. All right, so let's see if we can get behind. Come on. Well, it's like, yeah, if, if you cheat, uh, if you cheese, I didn't say cheat. If you cheese the training fights, uh, then this part is actually kind of completable. Yeah, a and little bit. E even then, it still is a little bit rough. Uh, yeah. yeah, without cheesing the training, though, it's... <sighs> yeah, yeah. Come on. Ooh. Come on, oh, you backed up. Okay. Oh, that nerd. Seriously. It's okay. Oh, if oh, he punches me in the back, it's okay down. as long as he doesn't kill me. Yeah, I'm just here worried we go. about. Ah, there we go. You got the loop. Should be enough, hopefully. Come on. There He's just is. dodging everything. That's right. It's just <laughs> pro dodge strats. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. So now for the the lovely part of the game where I sing. Um, 
Oh yeah. Best song in the game. So this is the, <laughs> the level that has the jerk bird, um, Baba Yaga's pet owl, I don't know. Uh, that will instantly kill you. So I'm going to start singing after this here in a second. Please don't hit me, jerk bird. 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 Please don't hit me, jerk, you jerk. <laughs> I need both fighters. They have to live. <laughs> Otherwise, yes. you have to redo the level. <laughs> Please don't hit me, jerk bird. Please don't hit me, jerk bird. Please don't. Oops, there's slime. That's slime blob. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't hit me, jerk bird. Please don't hit me. Really? <laughs> Please don't hit me, jerk bird. Please don't hit me, jerk bird. Please don't hit don't me, jerk bird. Please don't hit 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 me. Please don't hit me. Stop it, game. <laughs> oh, it's the worst. It's all RNG. There's only one row that is safe, and that's row two. I love it. Eh. Ah! <laughs> this can go swamp. really well or just terrible. You've done. Uh, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of RNG, but you've actually done some speed runs of this, right? Yes, right? I have. Uh, oh. Current world record was during "Don't Make Us Bored." Um, oh yeah. At, that was uh, good. About twenty-one minutes or so. Twenty-one thirty-three. Wow. Woo, those jukes. The jukes, don't do it, you bird. Jerk bird, come on, quit. <laughs> <sighs> oh my gosh. This is so Stop it. dumb. <laughs> this jerk bird. Unfortunately, you can't save partway through. It doesn't. Oh, I wish. I wish so progress. much. Progress. That would be very nice. I would save scum this game to all get out. Oh, to oblivion. Yeah. All right. So we can go. To all right. So first one done. Here we go. Please don't hit me, jerk bird. Please don't hit me. <sighs> oh my gosh. I do have a backup for this if uh, if we fail too many times. Um, this is the worst. Like I've never had this happen before. This is the worst <laughs> jerkbird luck I have ever oh, ever had in this bird. game. Birds are jerks, man. It's true. This bird is right. a jerk in a much different way than a lot of video game birds or jerks. I mean, normally they go in these sort of weird sine wave patterns and can be a little uh, can be a little little difficult in platformers, but this is just this right. is just don't go bottom RNG. row. Don't go bottom row. Don't go bottom row. Don't go bottom row. Okay, cool, we made oh, it. Oh, we're through. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Oh yay. More of this. This game is great. Uh, did we not take control? Nope, we did not. There we go. I was like, why am I still punching? <laughs> you have to press F1 to take control over your fighters, otherwise they don't do anything. They'll okay. just they'll just do their own thing. Be like, which okay, I don't want. I'm going. Yeah, you gotta line them up. You gotta cheese them. Oh. I love their jump kick. That they okay. Sabor has like two moves or three moves: jab, knee, spin kick. I mean, essentially, those are all you really need when you're doing martial arts, anyway. No, oh, why'd you back up, you jerk? Please don't oh. back up, jerk, dude. <laughs> In some martial right, arts, you, you also want to have something when people hit the ground. But since these people turn like into spikes, bass, yeah, no, like, you know, jujitsu. But... I feel like throwing spikes on the ground and then knocking people down would be a very effective technique. Got them uh, all at once. There's yeah, five like, but they turn into birds once they hit the ground. So we're all good. 
Yeah, you put spikes on the ground, throw them down. Birds aren't getting uh, out of that one. All right, so now we have the reason why we absolutely have to have two fighters throughout yeah. the whole game. This lovely dragon here. Yeah, are you going to save? I am going to save. Yeah. So just to show you, like, you can't get past it with one person because if you try and go past without setting it off, this happens. So the dragon's not the dumbest, but it's still pretty dumb. So instead, I love that. Yeah, we just oh. have one aggro, and the other one just casually walks on by. Do, do, do. Look at that tail wiggle. Oh, he's angry. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we got it. That's right. Every raid does need a tank, and thankfully the other guy is now the off tank. Yeah, if you have two tanks, you'll never lose. That's right. So this is the final brawl of the game. I hope you guys you have enjoyed it. You don't even get to subor the dragon. You nope. Just... Nope. Not one punch has landed on the dragon. Probably for the best, though. Please, please. Yeah. Like yes. this is this yes. is a martial art, yes. and in general, they don't consider fighting dragons in their arts. We'll take a half win here. Two v two. I like those odds. Yeah, that's pretty good. Only if my partner quits flipping his uh, dance partner around. Quit it. I want to oh, go this man, way. Oh, you're square way. dancing. If they get too close to you, you automatically back up if you're too close. So. Oh, on. really? Come here. That's it. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Maybe? Stop it. <laughs> I'm off the screen right now. Come on. All right, cool. Go this way, pop up, turn around. Yeah, and they can actually hit each other while they're fighting. That's probably how most of them die in this, actually. Yep. No, come on. Would you say that the AI is better at this point, or...? Yeah, the is AI there... is really, really, um, really good, but it's still not usually enough for, for on a 2v2 to trust it. Oh, okay. Come on. I more meant the enemy's AI. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this is the worst AI in the game. They're the hardest ones, so... That is time. Nice! Time for the ending! In spite of the bad bird, uh, we were only about 21 seconds off world record. Wow! <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Yeah. So you're gonna you're gonna go for uh for sub twenty one now, right? That's right, that's the next goal. Uh MK yeah. Cyborg, oh. no, they did not flip each other off. It was a friendly gesture. Also, please enjoy this delightful ending. Bye! Dracula escapes! Yeah, I forgot to show the, um, uh, the attract <laughs> mode screen at the, the beginning, but the plot of this game, an evil force uh, takes over the land, turns a lot of the men into bats and the women into swans. It's great. And why are the bats men? I don't know. Are you the evil force going and turning the guys into bats? No. I, yeah. Because as far as I can tell, they were humans before you That's true. Them. And when we die, like when my characters die, they don't turn into bats. So maybe we are the bad guy after all. I think you are. <laughs> maybe we've freed the evil uh, bat master from its castle prison on the mountain. I don't know. This game doesn't make any sense. We could have thought through the story a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, uh, that's Sabor. Um, it's a it's a game. 
that was awesome. So, thank you all for watching that, Brosentia, Jeff. Thank you uh, very much for commentary, and especially yeah. thanks to uh, you guys for Cusa Grande, which uh, never fails to find some of the finest uh, games to experience. I'm so glad we know about this. It's not a good game, but it is a fascinating one that, you know, never would have appeared except in this specific time that it came out. Yes. Yeah, I love it. Yep. So all right. Thanks. I'll see you all around. Yep. All Thank right. You all see very it, much. everybody. I'll be around later on in the marathon. Enjoy the rest of the marathon, folks. There's plenty more to see. Oh, yeah. We'll uh, end on this little cutscene here. Chopping our aluminum cans in half here. Good. So happy. <laughs> oh no!